Welcome to video 123 in series 3, and now I'll write the destructible low health effect script. Now what this is about is pretty much when like the barrel's health falls too low, I'd uh, like a fire to activate on it to show that the health of it is gone low. Uh, so I'll just make a new C-sharp script, I'll just call it destructible low health effect, and open that up. Okay, so for my variables, private, destructible master, destructible master, and public game object, it's going to be an array, and I'll just call it low health effect geo. I don't need start and update, and I'll just have here void turn on low health effect. If low health effect geo uh, dot length is greater than zero, so there's something inside of this array, then I will iterate through each entry inside of the array and activate the game object. So that would be like the fire, for example, would activate and start playing. Uh, so I'll just say for uh, int i is equal to zero, i less than low health effect uh, dot length and i plus plus and I'll say let me just scroll down on there okay low health effect geo i dot set active true okay so that will turn that on uh, now I'll set initial references, so destructible master is equal to get component, destructible master, set initial references, call it in on enable, and destructible master dot event low health, perfect, uh, plus equal turn on low health effect, and the subsequent uh, unsubscribe call, okay. Uh, so that should do it. That's it. It's a pretty simple script. Let's go back to Unity. Go to a barrel. Uh, drop it on. So there's the uh, low health effect script. Okay, so I need a uh, something on it. Well, actually in this barrel, for this barrel, what I will do is I will uh, go to the standard assets. I will uh, get a particle system. And I'm going to use fire complex. So let me just drop that on. Okay, and I uh, just reset the position, move it up somewhere like there. So let me just have a look at where approximately that will be. And let me just turn, well, morph them on. Yeah, I think, I think that'll do it. Okay, so just on the top of the barrel, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm satisfied with that. Let me just check. I don't want a particle system destroyer, so I, uh, I'll turn that off, so remove component, and the multiplier doesn't matter. Okay, and the default state should be that it's uh, off. Good. Now I'll come back here, set that to 1, drop it in, drop in the fire complex. Now I'll hit apply, so the other barrel is automatically updated. Good. Save that jump in. Okay, much better. Now I shoot it. Excellent. So now I can see that it's on fire. And oh, I thought it was going to explode because that's what we need to implement next, which is uh, the health degradation over time. So I saw it on fire. I was like, oh, it's going to blow up. I just stand around there. But no, it's not. Uh, so let me check something. Yeah, so you'll also see in the next video, well, I'll, when we get to that, then I'll talk about it. So there will be a health degradation uh, video, and then there'll be another one uh, showing something rather important about uh, the uh, inventory updating. Okay, anyway, that's enough for this video. Thanks for watching.